And live from the International Space Station Flight Control Center in Beaverton, Oregon, we have a rather unique press conference opportunity on the rundown today, a live hookup with Mission Specialist Sandra Bottoms and Mission Commander Carl Cavanaugh. Uh, do you read us? Roger. Uh, welcome aboard the space station. I'm ready to go. Here you're loud and clear. Uh, Commander, say hello to the 7th grade science class of Mrs. Ingrid Cornspan at Woodrow Wilson School in the state of Kentucky. The children have been selected for their scholarship and their good luck with local animals. Uh, if you say hello to the astronauts, their uh, class of Mrs. Cornspan. Hello, Oh, hi, kids, and welcome aboard the space station. I'm your commander, Carl Cavanaugh, and we'd like to welcome you aboard if you have any questions. They surely do, Commander. First up is young Tommy Jenkins. I got a question for Captain Cavanaugh, for Carl. When you get woken up in the morning, like, do you, what kind of music do you listen to? Question about music. Is there any special kind? Well, this one over here listens to Mozart, but uh, I love to listen to speed metal myself. I'm a sound sleeper, and uh, uh, it takes a lot to wake me up. So I love uh, speed metal, laser metal, uh, gun metal, anything mm-hmm. that has an edge to it that really rocks my brain in the morning, gets me going like a Hammer of the Gods, uh, some Zeppelin. We hope that answers your question, Tommy, and uh, encourages you to pursue a career with the space program. And next up is young Larry Mankiewicz, whose specialty is fluid dynamics. What's a, a, a fart <laughs> smell like in space? <laughs> a fart? Oh, actually, fart is a gaseous mixture that comes out of your uh, lower bowel movement when you have beans and rice. And out here in space, we have the same problems. There's a major problem with uh, flaxillation, as we call it up here. So we like to just uh, kind of, you know, get it out in the open and uh, let it roll around the cabin for a while. It smells like burnt popcorn. In fact, the other day, I was um, working on the Zytron experiment, and I let this uh, rip. (laughs) I I want to be an astronaut like you so I can fart in space, too. Uh, Thank you, Larry. Let's move right along to uh, young Tiffany May Meadows, a home economics major. She has a question for Sandy Bottoms. Tiffany? Hey, uh, I want to ask that lady, why is her hair so funky? Yeah. That question for mission specialist Sandra Bottoms. Well, Tiffany May, uh, my hair is 3,000 nautical miles in space, and it's none of your business how I do my hair. I don't need to make my hair look good for little girls like you, and besides, I don't have the time or the money to get my hair done like your mommies do. Does that answer your question? I hope you're happy. You really hit a sore spot on me. I don't sure if my hair is really important. My mom gets her hair done every week. Thank you, Tiffany, for your interest. And let's finally go to a 4-H... Champion for this year, young Wendy Weedman. Um, like my parents make love. Yeah. And I wonder if, uh, mm-hmm. you know, you do that. Do you guys hook up in space, or yeah. and is it beautiful? Well, first of all, uh, we don't make love in space. And second, I wouldn't be attracted to this fellow over here. And uh, I don't have anything sexy to wear, nor would I want to turn men on. I'm an astronaut. Uh, Tommy has a follow-up. For Carl, uh, would you do her like? Well, uh. And this lady's hot. I mean, there's no doubt. I'd obviously want to knock that boots and boot that strap. I've been floating her for the past today, five you know, days uh, in tight quarters. And uh, we've been floating up and down. And I've been below her and above. And I've seen every angle of her I possibly could see. So uh, to answer your question, yes, I would hit that thing. I'd knock it. I'd kick those boots. I would uh, slam it. I would Picking hook up, up with it. Picking up a little chatter now from Capcom's Archibald Pete Psyka. We're going to be in about two more hours. And so it's going to be fantastic. And it's the first sexual hook up in space. And I guess we're to talk about this, but, but what we're going to do is we're Thank going to... Thank you, uh, Commander, uh, very much. We're now told that our time, our satellite time, is about to expire for this Carl, press, what, press what, conference. What are you guys talking about? I'm, I, the people should be learning about this. Everybody should like know to that we're going to say a big space program thank we're you. writing you up. You're getting to, a 629. Uh, what? A 629 is space court martial. Why? In subordination? What are you talking about? Well, you'll find out when Thanks. you get back down on the ground. Thanks Carl. very much uh, to uh, uh, Mrs. Cornspan's class uh, from uh, somewhere in Kentucky, mission specialist Sandra Bottoms, and a chastened Commander Carl Cavanaugh. Oh,